Hi, welcome to one more session of ISTQB Foundation Level Exam Sample Question Session. So this is fourth session for this discussion and I'm going to go ahead with five more examples. If you have any questions regarding all these sessions, then do drop a comment or you can directly message me using that channel message option. Okay, I hope that you find this series useful for your ISTQB foundation level exam. So let's start with our first question. First question is, in a reactive approach to testing, when would you expect the bulk of test design work to be begun? Option A, after the software or system has been produced during development as early as possible during requirements analysis. So we are here looking for keywords. So if you look at the question, it says in a reactive approach. So let's focus on that keyword and then go for next clue. Here it says, when would you expect the bulk of test design work to be begun? So we are talking about test design in a reactive approach. So that means option C as early as possible is not right. Let's look at option B, D and A. So B says during development, which is not true at all. D says during requirement analysis and A says after the software system has been produced. So the during requirement analysis that would be proactive approach. So it looks closer to our answer, but if we write our test design during requirement analysis, that would be proactive approach. So after the software or system has been produced means we are reacting after the development of software. So the answer here is A. Okay, so let me repeat answer is A. Now, second question, what is the objective of debugging? So debugging is checking for bugs within our software. So basically it is finding that bug and getting it fixed. So now we know exact scenario of why we do debugging. So let's find out options. Here we are given options one, to localize defect, second, to fix the defect, third, to show value, and fourth, to increase the range of testing. So let's go through our answers. First says one and three. B says two, three, and four. C says two and four, and D says one and two. So let's come back to question and let's eliminate the issues here. So first says localized effect, which is close to debugging, which is right. Then second is to fix the effect, which is again right. Now three to show value. So this is not right. So any answer that has three in it is wrong. Fourth says to increase the range of testing. Again, this is wrong. So three and four are wrong. So we are left with options here. A is wrong. B again is wrong. C wrong again and remains D which shows option one and two is right. So our answer is D. Now, third question, which of the following requirement would be tested by a functional system test? A, the system must be able to perform its functions or for an average of 23 hours, 50 minutes per day. System must perform adequately for up to 30 users. System must allow a user to amend the address of customer. System must allow 12,000 new customers per year. So this shows you what requirement would be tested by functional system test. So let's go through each one of them. Option A says system must perform for a particular time period. That not at all part of our functional test. So it could be for performance test, but functional it is not sounding right. System must perform adequately for up to 30 users. That again sounds like performance requirement. 
Next is the system must allow user to amend the address of customer. This looks functional because we are talking about process. Now let's take a look at D. The system must allow 12,000 new customers per year. Then again, this is performance requirement. So it doesn't sound like functional system requirement. In function, we talk about process, talk about flow. We talk about how user interacts with that piece of software. So that is functional requirement. When we are talking about specific load, specific performance, and let's say operation, then that goes into performance system test or load test, etc. So option here is C. The system must allow a user to amend the address of a customer. Okay, so let's take a look at next question in a system designed to work out the tax to be paid example has 400 of salary tax free next 500 is taxed at 10 percent after that next 28,000 after that is taxed at 22 percent okay then any further amount is taxed at 40 so you have to draw exactly the boundaries here from 0 to 1500 it will be taxed at 10 percent after that it would be up to 2800 22 percent and then 40 percent any above that and the salary is in a range of 1500 to 28000 okay so here you will find that to the interest hold bound which of these valid boundary value analysis test case so we are looking at 1500 plus 4000 that goes for 5500 plus 28000 which brings about around 33500 so the valid case would be 33501 option b because anything up to 1500 is going to be within 10 percent after that all those values 28,000 and 32,001 are within the range of our let's say 22 percent and 40 percent so beyond that is only listed with 33,501 okay so if you draw this on a piece of paper then you will be able to visualize that part so the answer to the nearest whole pound which of these valid boundary value analysis test case is B okay so I suggest you to take a pen and paper and try to solve this on paper so you'll understand that each boundary value analysis case here with when we visualize it okay now fifth option Given the following specification, which of the following values for age are in same equivalence partition? So again, take a pen and paper and draw it from 0 to 18. If you are less than 18, you are too young. Then from 18 onwards, it says 18 to 13 inclusive and you get 20% discount. Anyone over 30 is not eligible for discount. So our range is between 18 to 13. So anything for that is for our same partition okay so let's check the question given the following specification which of following values of age are in same partition so 18 is true 29 and 13 within same then comes 17 and 31 which is for d is wrong same goes for b 29 30 31 we don't want 31 because that would be our invalid partition then comes 17 18 19 is wrong because we are not insuring person with 17 so option a and d are wrong for b we have 31 as invalid case that means option is c okay so this was easy one but i hope you understand for that last these two questions i suggest taking pen and paper because you have to visualize on your own and just merely listening to me won't help you understand 
how I visualize that question and explain it to you. So take a pen of paper and try to solve this. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, suggestions, if you find any errors within these answers or you think I need to look at some different examples that do let me know and thank you for watching.